The vibes were at an all-time high in College Park on Saturday with Fox's big noon kickoff being here and it being the final home game for Maryland football this season. But its opponent, number two Michigan. And as you might expect, the Wolverines jumped out to an early lead and never gave it away, defeating the Terps 31 to 24. You know, again, there's no moral victory, but I, I can tell you that, you know what, this team showed up today and, and fought the champion into the end or to the fourth quarter and, and came up short. And, you know, we'll be able to build off of this. And as a program, I know we will. With Maryland down 7-3 midway through the opening quarter, things started to get out of hand. Talia Tungavailoa was strip sacked by Michigan's Michael Barrett, which ended in six for the Wolverines. And just 90 seconds later, Brendan Segovia's punt was blocked and kicked through the back of the end zone tacking on a safety for the maize and blue. The Terps were down by as many as 20 and had their backs against the wall, but they responded well. A Billy Edwards QB sneak touchdown and end zone INT from Jay Sean Barham on the other side kept the deficit at 13 during the break. And coming out of it, Edwards scored a second time to make it a one score game. The teams would trade touchdowns late in the third, giving Michigan a five-point lead entering the fourth. And that's when Maryland's defense stepped up big time. The Terps got stop after stop, but Maryland couldn't counter that offensively. Talia Tungvaloa would throw an interception and get flagged for intentional grounding in the end zone on back-to-back -back drives, sealing the Terps' fate. You know, they just executed better. At the end of the day, they, they got us backed up. You know, tough situations like that. Uh, we got to help our defense out. You know, they, they've they been playing lights out. I think they only scored seven points in the uh, second half. And, you know, as an offense and as a leader of the offense, you know, we, we just got to come through and we didn't. Last year, Maryland's win total in the regular season was seven. And to get that seventh win this year, they're going to need a win next week against Rutgers. For Terrapin Sports Central from CQ Stadium, I'm Nathan Schwartz.